The BMI or body mass index is a figure that we calculate using height and weight. Technically, it is the body mass divided by the square of the body height. Often, lots of charts and tables make it easier to understand or to calculate the BMI. And they offer conversions to different units like inches and pounds, and kilograms and meters. But in any case, what we find is when we apply the BMI to African Americans or black people in the United States, we get some interesting data. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, the BMI is, is a, it's a convenient tool when make broad categorizations about weight. Now, some of these category, categorizations include whether you are underweight, you're normal weight, you're overweight, or if you are obese. Now, once again, we're talking about your body mass divided by the height. When we say body mass, we're talking about muscle, fat, bone, all that added together, divided by the height. This gives us the BMI or body mass index. So here are the, the, the major adult BMI classifications. They are as follows. Underweight is a BMI of under 18.5. Normal weight is a BMI of 18.5 through 24.9. Overweight is a BMI of 25 through 29.9. And finally, obese is a BMI of 30 or more. Now, it should be noted there are some limitations when it, when it comes to applying the BMI to health. Everybody's body is a little bit different. You know, sometimes the information can seem a little bit skewed based upon extenuated circumstances. Say somebody has um, an unusually large amount of muscle or they have a lot of fat around the waist, abdominal fat. And also, I should note that there are often better ways to determine someone's health than their BMI. But one thing we should know is that the higher the BMI goes, the greater the risks of health problems. That seems to be consistent among all the racial groups. Now, just as we did with height, weight, and waist size, we are going to follow the data, the 2015-2016 data, most recent year data, National Health Statistics Report. Um, that was divided into five Hispanic origin groups, which were non-Hispanic white, non-Hispanic black, non-Hispanic Asian, Hispanic, and Mexican American. So we'll follow those same lines of data so that we're consistent across the board. First, we'll take a look at the non-Hispanic white group uh, as far as BMI in the non-Hispanic white category. The numbers for the male and female are identical. The average BMI for men is 29.1. Likewise, the average BMI for women is 29.1. Again, the difference between male and female BMI averaged BMI in 2015-2016 year in the non-Hispanic white category was zero. Now that changes a lot when we look at the non-Hispanic black group. One thing to note is that the difference between body mass index in this group is greater than any other group. The difference between the average black male body mass index and the average black female body mass index is the largest of all racial categories. The average BMI for black men was 29, which means that the average body mass index for black men in this year was slightly lower than it was for um, non-Hispanic white men. Meanwhile, the average BMI for women was 31.9, 31.9, meaning the difference between male and female BMI was positive 2.9, meaning the women had their average BMI was 2.9 higher than that of the men. Now of note, the black male average BMI is lower than that of the average white male BMI in this year. In fact, it is lower than every other racial group except for the non-Hispanic Asian group. The non-Hispanic Asian men are the only ones that had a lower BMI average than the average non-Hispanic black male. Now, in contrast to that, the average black female BMI is tied for the highest of all of the 
not Hispanic origin um, groups, the African American female and the Mexican American female have the highest BMI of all the racial groups. So again, African American men, lowest BMI, except for the Asian group, African American women, highest BMI tied with the Mexican American group, highest for the females. And again, as I mentioned in another video, it, it just seems kind of odd uh, that that difference between men and women in the same racial category. And I'm wondering if that's genetic or if it is a lifestyle thing. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Now for the non-Hispanic Asian BMI. Members of the non-Hispanic Asian group have the lowest BMI of all groups. This applies to both sexes. The average BMI for men is 25.3. For women, the average BMI is 24.6. So that's a 0.7 difference between male and female. And the difference between male and female BMI is only smaller in the white group. If you remember, in the non-Hispanic white category, the difference was zero, both at 29. Also, the non-Hispanic Asian um, group is the only racial group in which the average female BMI is lower than that of the male. In other words, in every Hispanic origin category, the, uh, the females have a higher BMI than the men do, except for the non-Hispanic Asian group. It's the only group where the women have, on average, a lower body mass index. Now for the Hispanic group, the average BMI for men is 30. Meanwhile, the average BMI for women is 31.2. So the difference between male and female BMI is a positive 1.2. Women have a higher BMI, a 1.2 higher BMI than the men do. And in terms of the last group, the Mexican American, the average BMI for men is 30.2. The average BMI for women is 31.9. The difference between male and female BMI is 1.7. And as I mentioned earlier, at 31.9, the Mexican American female is tied with the non-Hispanic black female with the highest BMI. So what does that mean? Let's recap this couple different things. As far as men are concerned, uh, non-Hispanic black men, that average BMI of uh, you know 29 puts us uh, squarely in the overweight category. So according to that chart, uh, African-American men in the United States are average or overweight. The BMI average for non-Hispanic white, non-Hispanic black, and non-Hispanic Asian men put them all in the overweight category. Uh, when it comes to Hispanic men and non uh, Mexican American, that BMI for males actually puts the average BMI for males actually puts them into the obese category. Now, in terms of women, the uh, Asian women, they average normal weight. The non-Hispanic white women average overweight and everyone else, black, Hispanic, Mexican American, all average obese. And once again, the African-American population has the largest difference between men and women as far as the BMI. And lastly, the um, non-Hispanic black population is the only population in which the women average a higher BMI than the men do. And lastly, the uh, non-Hispanic Asian group is the only category in which the women have a, they average a lower BMI than the men do. Now, like I said before earlier in the video, this is just the BMI, body mass index is just one indicator as far as it points towards health. But it's a great indicator when, when we're talking about um, body size, overall body size. We're talking about height, weight, BMI, waist size. All these things go into how the body, the total size of the body, how people see you, how people perceive you. I thought it'd be really interesting to to get these, to hammer these numbers out so we can paint that picture. So now going forward, uh, there'll be some topics that I talk about uh, and, and, and certain statistics as far as physicality will come into play. Um, and in this way you have something to kind of refer back to 
it's there. So we're not we're not, we're not just having a conversation. Um, he say she say I think I felt like, but you can you can kind of look back at the facts, um, and then if you if if there's a debate about it or or difference of opinion, then that can be based upon the interpretation of facts rather than um, you know having conversations that just have no basis in reality. So once again, in terms of body size, um, there are some significant differences between African Americans, um, the males and the females, which between uh, as they compare to each other, as compared to how other Hispanic origin groups compare to one another. And there are also some, some significant differences um, as far as how members of the non-Hispanic black group compare to members of the other groups in terms of averages when it comes to um, our physicality, the way we're built, the way we're designed. In the grand scheme of things, not super huge, but big enough to affect the way that um, we perceive both each other and how other people may perceive us. But on that note, I hope it's been enlightening. If it has, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and share it with someone else who you think might enjoy the information. On that note, take care, family, and peace. Thank you.